Uh, my name is Ian Wilson. I'm a shopping guide with Royal Caribbean Cruises. I suppose the job is, is multifaceted. You know, I work uh, on the cruise ships. Your boyfriends and husbands for the rest of your relationship, right? We're going to raffle off a diamond pennant and a Tanzanite pennant. Everyone in attendance will have a chance to win. Um, and I work in the ports of Kulp. Nice. 1969, widely considered the best. Where are we talking about Tanzanite? Yes. Okay. <laughs> have you ever wondered what a port shopping guide does, what their life is like, and how they do what they do? Join us as we go behind the scenes and take a walk in your Port Shopping Guide shoes. We offer our guests protection and guidance when shopping for some of the great deals that they're going to find in foreign ports of call. Here we go. The job is, is multifaceted. You know, I work uh, on the cruise ships. Um, we do seminars that tell people where to shop, what they're going to be shopping for during their cruise vacation. Um, and I work in the ports of call, working with different merchants, uh, ensuring that they're treating our guests the way that we expect them to treat our guests. It's been a, a wonderful journey all over the world. Port shopping guides hail from all over the world. Each one has a different story of how they got their start in the cruise industry. I started uh, in 1994 on the Nordic Empress with Royal Caribbean as a diving instructor. Uh, my education was in fine arts and gemology. So when this position sort of came up, I was an obvious choice to do that. My interest in, and knowledge in gems and gemstones and diamonds uh, and my experience with different watch brands, I was kind of an obvious choice to do this, and, uh, and we've been going ever since. Your port shopping guide is not just a pretty face on TV or someone standing on the stage. They have to balance many aspects of the job. This requires the talents of unique individuals, and it takes the right kind of person to be a port shopping guide. It's a great job for people who um, sort of have an, an inner performer, I would say. I would never say that I'm a performer, but um, I love the live talks, I love doing the seminars, I love imparting that knowledge, and, and you know, it allows you in this format to really have your own personality shine as well. And so when we have a good crowd and there's a lot of people there, it'll, you really can pick up on that energy and allow your uh, personal sense of humor and your personality out on stage as well. They're making bamboo underpants now. Let me see, yeah. You will not be able on this planet to find a better house for your boys, okay? They're amazing. There is the fun and public side of this job, which would be meeting all of these great guests, meeting them at the desk on the ship. I also meet with guests in the ports of call uh, to ensure that they're you know, getting the service that we require from the merchants, but also ensuring they get the very best price and that they get exactly what they're looking for. And then the back of the house, which is, you know, everybody's favorite, paperwork. You know, different paperwork and ensuring the maps are correct and distributed correctly so that uh, all of our guests have the opportunities to take advantage of this great program. To get ready for any event, there is a lot to be done. All of the aspects that seem simple really take a lot of work behind the scenes to get it ready for you, the guests. Every aspect of this job takes a lot of preparation. If you're preparing for a live event, a live talk, then of course you have to have all of the materials available, you have to have all the maps and all the information specific to that cruise and that itinerary available for the guests. You have to have any raffles that you're going to be doing, you have to have that stuff prepared and make sure that everyone gets a raffle ticket. Uh, you have to make sure that the videographers are ready to film you on stage and that the lighting is right. Anyone else coming for setup that we need some power, we need some outlets down here. Even desk hours requires prep. I need to make sure that I have all of the specific information that people might be asking about available. Um, and I love desk hours because it allows me the opportunity to 
you know, meet with people much more intimately and much more one-on-one. -on -one. For Google, more than anything else, if you see the watch you like today, buy it. Because on um, something like that, you might never see that watch again. Maybe there's questions that people have that we don't cover in the live talk that isn't covered on TV, and this gives them an opportunity to come up and ask where the best margarita is in Cozumel. One of the challenges and joys of this job is the fact that you have to know how to answer all 99% of the questions people will come up with. So you have to know all of that stuff. A port shopping guide has to be able to balance public speaking, advising, monitoring the TV channels, writing VIP cards, sorting emails and so much more. Sometimes it might feel overwhelming for just one person to take on. You know, this is obviously not a one-person job. It takes a team of people uh, on board to make sure this happens. And so I will get on a ship and, and hire a team of people to make sure that we can provide the top level of service to our guests that we can and ensure that they have all the information that they need to be successful in the ports of call. So on average, I'll work on a ship between five and six months at a time. And we truly do live on board when we're there. Um, and it can be very comfortable. I mean, life on board a ship can be as, as healthy and fun or as debaucherous and fun as you make it. There's a lot of things to do when, when you're not on duty. Also, you're technically always on duty because every crew member has safety duties on board the ship. And so every single crew member on the ship is trained to perform a specific duty in the unlikely event of an emergency. So we're all trained. Um, every embarkation day, I do passenger boat drill. I'm the leader of a station, so I'll organize the guests that muster in that center in the correct way. Uh, so that they know where to go in the unlikely event of an emergency and I try to make that as fun as possible as well but very serious at the same time because safety is no joking matter. Dial the shopping hotline now so I can get you VIP shopping referral cards that will guarantee you the manager's best price, service and selection for anything you're shopping for in this fantastic port. One of the best benefits of this as a position is the travel. You know, I've been to every port in the Caribbean, I've been to every port in Alaska, uh, you name it. It really appeals to the adventurer in me to be able to visit to all these exotic places. And, you know, all while doing something I love and talking about something I love and, and helping people uh, throughout the whole experience and helping people have a great experience not just on their cruise but once they're home as well. Who wants to win the $250 shopping trip? All right, good. Michelle Troyer. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, 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 I love you! <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I love you! <laughs> you have to oh. see it. I do go ashore in every port and, and meet with all of the managers of the different stores, um, most of which I've known for a long time. Uh, there's some really, really great characters in this industry, and the opportunity to um, spend time with them is is you know it's almost like not working it's like a chance to go visit with just some really cool people in these exotic locations when you've done this job as long as i have you only really have two reactions from the store managers and the merchants they either love you um, or on occasion there may be a few that are terrified of you but either way it works for our guests to make sure that they get the service they deserve and um, and the great savings that they can, they can get in the ports of call when they're shopping in the Caribbean. One of the best parts of being ashore is helping the guests, facilitating you know, them planning an effective day in the ports of call. So making sure they know where to go, um, perhaps meeting with them personally in the stores, interacting with them in the store. You know, once guests get ashore and they're, they're in that environment where they can see so much great product and they're going to get it at a great price, they'll often fall back on me to ask my opinion about different gradings, different watches, different gemstones, anything that they may be shopping for. I will do anything I can to make sure that our guests have an enjoyable experience, even if it's asking the manager to get a beer for a gentleman that's just done something very special for his wife in the port of call. If it's uh, delivering jewelry back to the ship, you know, I want our guests to have an enjoyable time ashore. And if they want to get a stone set or if they need a ring resized and it's going to interfere with their time on a shore excursion or their time at the beach, for example, or their time going for lunch even, I will tell them, go ahead, to, so that they can enjoy their day and still take advantage of all the opportunities and the savings they're going to find in our ports of call. 
And that is what I do every day to make sure our guests are happy. How many people would like to travel the world to all of these beautiful locations with a very personable job where you get to meet fascinating and wonderful people every day, talking about things that you love, while living in a four to five star hotel that the front doors open in somewhere different every morning. I have cruised as a guest, and that may seem funny to people when this is your job and you do it almost all year long to choose that as a vacation, but I, but I have gone on a cruise and I wanted to experience what it was like to be a guest on board the ship, and I had an immensely enjoyable time. And I appreciated what every crew member did for me. Um, however, it was difficult to not just start working. It, it was difficult to not be helping people. Uh, even though I wasn't working. So uh, it was nice to be able to go out and enjoy and experience the ports of call the same way that the guests do. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of what your port shopping guide can do for you on this cruise vacation and what it takes for them to make it happen. I got all the time in the world. They work every day to deliver you the best shopping experience possible. With everything your port shopping guide does, their core purpose remains the same no matter which ports you visit. Cozumel has become a booming mecca for tourism. Grand Cayman is a wonderful place to visit on your cruise vacation. Falmouth is a distinctive vacation hotspot. I am truly there for the guests 24 hours a day, whether that's um, a listing of the different events or desk hours that I have in the cruise compass. I would encourage the guests to check the cruise compass to find out when I'm available. I'm also giving information every minute of the day, 24 hours a day, on the television channels in the stateroom. Um, I am available via the hot shopping hotline from any onboard ship's phone, 24 hours a day. The guests just need to pick up any phone on the ship and dial that number and they will get me. Um, you know, I am truly here for them and um, the smart guests and the ones that end up enjoying their vacation the most are the ones that take advantage of every aspect of everything that I can offer them. I have no plans to change my job. I, uh, I love my job. I love it.